So this year we want to take one step further and not only show you highlight reels of the matches or behind the scene looks, but we also want to have a closer look at how these players can perform so well, what they are doing, especially technically. And today I brought something especially about the front court and what really stands out in my eyes when I watch these top players down on the courts, especially in singles. So we're going to watch a few rallies and normal speed first and then we go to slow motion and we focus on what's happening in the front court. Now here in the first rally on Chu, player in front. And pay attention to the movement and the position of his racket before he hits it. Okay, so the first super important thing comes here now. We want to have a starting position like this. So that's also what happened in the rally before. The racket and the strings were pointing upwards. So the racket is not turned like this, it's not hanging down. It's up here, the hand is above the strings and like the strings facing upwards. And when we have a starting position like this, cool thing is we don't have to do anything if we just want to play a straight net shot. So we see Chu doesn't need any movement with this racket. It just goes straight over the net. Now here we see an example, Mia Blickfeld goes into a similar position, but in the very last moment she accelerates, rotates a little bit with her forearm and can play a lift that is very hard to see. Or another example, starting position like she would play long line, but in the very last moment she goes around the shuttle and guides it cross court. Super dangerous and super important shot, especially in women's singles. So last examples, once again, Chu goes in with his forehand now in the middle of the court. In the very last moment, he accelerates, plays it to Kalyu's forehand in the backcourt. And now one more example, similar starting position now. So Chu gets once again to the net in the middle with the forehand, but he's also able to play different shots. Also something like this, where he plays it against the hand cross court. So the key, like I said, we want to have the same starting position for all the shots and we want to hold it as long as we can to make it deceptive, to make it disguised. And when you watch these players down here, it's so impressive how long they can hold the racket and they can generate a lot of power with the fingers if they want to play long or they just use the speed of their legs to play very good net shots and give spin into the shuttle with very small gentle movements of the racket. So much for the first episode of our tech tip of the day. I hope you enjoyed it. Let us know in the comments below what you think about this format here. And if you have any other areas of the game where you would like to have some technical insights, maybe see some more cool slow motions and my opinion on what is happening there and what is important to become a really good successful badminton player. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.